Low energy nuclear reaction devices, referred to as LENR or LENR, are nothing new. LENR type devices were once introduced to the world in 1989 by Stanley Pons of the University of Utah and Martin Fleshman of the University of Southampton under the moniker Cold Fusion. Their discovery then boasted a coefficient of 100 times energy output to that of the input. However, remarkably, their U.S. patents were later denied and allowed to expire upon claims that they are incapable of reproducing the results upon which the patents were written. What sort of scientific researcher would stake their reputation upon a patent for a process that they are unable to repeat? Now, for the last six or more years, we've had the ECAT, another letter device provided by Andrea Rossi. Rossi's device has been tested and repeated and confirmed by many independent universities and skeptic societies alike. Much similar to the cold fusion of Pons and Fleshman, the ECAT utilizes a reactor containing heavy hydrogen or deuterium. With Rossi's device, his reactor is known to use powdered nickel metal, lithium and lithium aluminum hydride, and produces in its spent ash a deposit of copper which speculates a catalytic reaction is taking place to produce the excessive energy output. Recently, in August of 2015, Rossi was awarded a U.S. patent for his apparatus, and then later, in 2016, he completed a full year-long test of his device in which he stated they had, quote, generated energy at a rate in excess of six times the amount of energy consumed by the plant, often generating energy exceeding 50 times the amount of energy consumed during the same period." Unquote. A legal battle disputing ownership of the ECAT intellectual property ensued shortly thereafter, through which Rossi retained ownership rights. To this reporter it would appear that, if there were ever a case for over-unity device, Rossi's ECAT and Leonard Technology as a whole could provide evidence which would rewrite modern scientific definitions. For no chemical reaction known to science has been able to account for the abundance of heat generated by the catalytic fission reaction of Rossi's ECAT Lenner apparatus. It is also the opinion of this video's author that when involved with new energy technology, what we as the public are allowed to know is only a very small percentage of what is already fully understood by the military industrial complex of our western nations. But even that little bit is jeopardized by powerful interest groups. Now enter Zach, the Google whistleblower, courtesy of Project Veritas. In an interview with the YouTube channel producer of Just Informed Talk, Zachary raised the subject of blacklist censorship being specifically deployed to delist Andrea Rossi's ecatworld.com website in 2017 along with directed censorship against exposure involving stories which covered the Las Vegas shooting at that time. So it turns out that I caught Google hiding a website devoted to a new form of clean nuclear energy. Uh, you've probably heard it named as cold fusion or you know, uh, chemical assisted nuclear reaction or low energy nuclear reaction. Um, but there is a device by uh, made by a engineer by the name of Andre Rossi. Uh, he's been working on it for over a decade. He has had this machine tested by a third party analyst um, who is internationally known and the results of this positive confirmation of a 30 day test was posted at Cornell University. Um, this guy has discovered and engineered a reactor type that works off a combination of platinum and a heavy form of hydrogen known as de uh, deuterium or deuterium. Um, and a website that follows his technology is called ecatworld.com. Now they don't just post about Rossi's machine, they actually post about a bunch of different um, cold fusion related um, startups. But Andre Rossi's, you know, the one they talk the most about, and Andre Rossi seems to be the most advanced in this field. And so when I was at Google, I noticed that around November, 
this website was delisted, eCat World was delisted from the Google search index and they relisted at, at .org and they made it uh, like a note saying, hey, we've been delisted off of Google. We don't understand what's going on, but we're trying to get it resolved. And I went, well, I work at Google so I can get an inside look at what is really going on. So I find out that they've been blacklisted from Google's search index because according to a bug that I saw, and by the way, this has been disclosed as part of my 950 pages at Project Veritas, um, that this website was censored on October 1st, I'm sorry, October 2nd, 2017. Now let me ask you, what happened October 1st, 2017? Refresh my memory. Las Vegas shooting massacre. Wow. Okay. So on the 2nd, October 2nd, the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wachewski, says, oh my God, Code Red Emergency, there's a whole bunch of fake news that's out there on the internet and we've got to like block it from people because it's just so bad, right? So they created this block list, October 2nd. What do they put on that? They put, they put on a whole bunch of links to ISIS claiming that they were responsible for, you know, the shooting. Uh, they, they, they did a whole bunch of other stuff like multiple shooters, um, stuff talking about Stephen Paddock, but then also eCat World, which doesn't ever talk about current events other than this cold fusion. Well, someone had put in a fake URL where this cold fusion website was mistakenly as if it was talking about Stephen Paddock and the Las Vegas shooting. So it got entered onto that blacklist and it got taken off of the internet for this reason. Okay. Was that permanent? Was that permanent? It was permanent. I wow. found it. I bugged the hell out of them. I used the word, this could be corporate espionage. Um, and the someone, <laughs> a lawyer got mad at me for saying that, by the way, but someone within the company was able to correct the problem. And ecatworld.com is now again on the internet and listed by the Google search index. And so See? I'm sitting here going, wait a minute, why would somebody go to this sophisticated hack to take down what you know Wikipedia says is a debunked theory of you know fraudulent scientists? And I'm like, why, why, why are they so like constant? Like, why did someone put so much energy to take this website down? For as long as we rely upon massive Silicon Valley conglomerates to provide for our freedom of information, it is becoming increasingly apparent that a potential form of abundant clean energy would never be allowed to be disseminated freely, whether fully realized or not.